Hello, friends. Welcome to week three of art class. Uh, this assignment some of you might recognize from the spring. Uh, I thought it was a really fun assignment. I think a lot of the students enjoyed it, and I saw a lot of great submissions from all the grade levels for it. So um, I thought it would be a nice little break. We've had some, uh, some new technology that we've all been learning the last uh, couple weeks. So let's jump right into sharing my screen, and we'll go over the slides of what our lesson and assignment is for week three. All right, so here we go. We are doing, and you may remember this one, uh, a art recreation. This is the DIY, which just means do it yourself, art recreation challenge. So a recreation is uh, making a new version of something. Okay, you're creating something again, recreating it, right? So uh, let's see what this is all about. So it all started, it really all started in that little picture of that museum down in the bottom corner. Uh, at the Ricks Museum in Amsterdam, which I have I've seen the museum. I did not go inside of it. I went to the uh, Van Gogh Museum, which is right next door to it. Uh, but uh, this really took off with uh, the in the United States with the Getty Museum, which is in Los Angeles, California. Uh, right when the pandemic started and museums and everything closed up, uh, they posed a challenge out to the public, to all the people, and they said, uh, so pick out a famous piece of artwork and they wanted to see people make their own pictures recreating that artwork using regular household items that they had around at home like towels and blankets and pets and toys and pretty much anything you could find. So let's look at some pictures. You see one right there uh, that that girl uh, did a recreation of that Leonardo da Vinci painting lady with an ermine. And it's kind of funny. They're all kind of funny because uh, we don't, we have to use whatever we have laying around at home. And I think this is a perfect project as we wait for our art supplies to arrive because you all don't have the supplies that you're going to get for art class yet. Uh, that's why we're doing a lot of stuff on our iPads. But um, this is going to have you making art out of just regular old things that you find around the house. So here's some more examples. Uh, these are all uh, examples of famous paintings. And for your own uh, recreation challenge, you could use any of the original paintings. Those are, in these, it's the ones on the left. Uh, the picture on the left of each pair of images is the original painting. And the picture on the right is the people who recreated them. And you can see uh, they get pretty silly, like we've got, um, uh, the one in the bottom corner, instead of the heart balloon, it's a roll of toilet paper that the girl's reaching for. Um, and then uh, let's look at some other ones. Here's another famous one. Uh, this is uh, Van Eyck painting, a really famous portrait uh, that we've looked at in my class in the past. And uh, look at it, they redid it with blankets. Looks like that guy's got like a pot or a bucket on his head. <laughs> Instead of a real dog from the original painting, they've got a stuffed dog. Okay, a lot of uh, a lot of cool, uh, funny little details in there, and I, they did a pretty good job because they 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 uh, stand in the same position and they put things in the same place that they were in the original painting. So that's a lot of fun. You can, a lot of chances to be creative here. You see the Frida Kahlo, instead of parrots, uh, the woman redid it with uh, cleaning products, okay? We got like laundry detergent and like spray cleaners and stuff. And uh, the Diego Rivera down at the bottom, that painting was done instead of those great big lilies. Uh, it is uh, rolls of toilet paper that she's carrying in a basket on her back. So um, lots of different ways you can do it. We see that horse. Uh, remade with uh, shopping bags and uh, clothing to make a horse, right? It does not need to be exact and look just like it. It's all about just putting things in the same places and once in a while trying to match up um, colors and shapes the best you can. Here's a few more. Um, all kinds of possibilities. There we see a peeled potato uh, doing uh, Edward Munch's The Scream, okay, really famous painting that some of you may have seen before. And uh, Piet Mondrian in the 
uh, bottom there uh, done with Legos. I'm sure a lot of you have Legos at home. You could totally do your recreation just with Legos, like trying to match colors and putting things in the same spots. You could set up your toys to be like a painting, okay? So, so many different things. You could even use other people in your family. If you wanna have a painting that's got like, like the original painting you picked out, say it's got more than one person in it. You could get uh, helpers in your family to help uh, uh, pose with you and wear costumes. Or maybe if you're the one in the, in the recreation, they're gonna be the ones who help you with the iPad and take the picture, okay? Um, lots of unexpected and surprising ways we can make uh, recreations with stuff at home. Here we got some boxes uh, standing in for those uh, Monet haystacks there. Here we've got Van Gogh's Starry Night done with uh, the very famous 2020 uh, rolls of toilet paper. We got some oranges for the stars. Uh, very clever, okay? Some celery for that tree. So many different ways you can do it. Here's some examples that students at Horace Mann turned in last spring. Um, we've got the Great Wave there, uh, redone with uh, ripped pieces and cut pieces of paper, okay? These are both uh, kindergarten students that turned these in. We've got another Mondrian done with Legos down there in the bottom. Very cool, all right? Uh, another Starry Night done there, looks like with some sheets and fruits and with some toy houses there. Even I like it, there's some uh, like black kitchen spoons that are standing in for that tree in the painting. Um, uh, first grader did uh, their own version of the Monet haystacks using, uh, they made their own um, like, like house structure out of junk mail and looks like they've got some sort of like, like uh, I don't know, some, some other thing looks like a, like a bush or something that they had around at the house that they made be the other haystack. We've got Andy Warhol's uh, soup can. This was a fourth grader. I think this one's really funny because it looks like they had a different kind of soup at home. So they <laughs> made their own label or like a piece of tape or a piece of paper they put over the what kind of soup it used to be and just wrote tomato over it to match the original. And they even gave it a white background just like uh, Warhol's print. Um, so lots of ways to be creative. Here's one that I did as my example last spring. I did uh, the Vermeer girl with a pearl earring. And uh, here I've got uh, to recreate it. I put a pair of jeans over my head and a yellow t-shirt hanging out the back. And I put a towel over my shoulder. And uh, then I did not have a pearl earring, but I had a die from like a board game that I just stuck a piece of tape on and taped it to my ear to be my earring. And then I even found a piece of big black paper that I made be my black background. So um, yeah, it's not exactly like the painting, but it's close enough and it's a lot of fun to do. So this is the stuff that you need. There needs to be two images that you turn in for this project. Uh, the first image you are going to, and you could use any of them from the examples of the original artworks that were recreated from the slides I already showed you, or there's a slide on, if you click on, in the uh, yellow folder this week, uh, you will see um, some other examples that you might wanna choose from. And I've got the names of the paintings and the artists so that you can look them up yourself and upload your own um, images to add to your assignment. So there's those four choices, but you could really pick any famous artwork that you want. Uh, make sure it's school appropriate. And so the first image, you are going to upload is that original artwork by the real artist uh, who originally did it. Um, and the next video will show you how to upload and add that to your assignment. You'll submit that one and then you will do a resubmission. You will submit another version of this assignment, which is the recreation of that original artwork that you chose. So this is the second picture with all your household objects arranged and everything. No digital drawing or camera filters allowed. This is just lo-fi using stuff around the house. Uh, I think it's it's extra fun giving it that creative challenge to not, the only technology we're using is the iPad to take the photograph, all right? The rest is just setting up stuff that we've got around at home. And so you will take a picture 
of the recreation that you set up. And that second picture, you will also submit to the assignment for week three. And uh, that will be it for the assignment. So um, once again, you can go in the Google Slides and you can look through all of these if you would like to use any of those original paintings or you can use any, of the, any other painting by a famous artist that you like. So um, happy hunting, go look for those original artworks and uh, start thinking of household objects the things that you can use to match those colors and shapes. I love uh, this assignment. I can't wait to see um, all the stuff that you guys turn in. So the next video will show you how exactly we do that. Have a great one.